What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Office Space. So Office Space is a comedy that I remember watching tons and tons of times growing up as a kid. Uh, it was just always super funny to me. It takes place in an office, obviously, and it's really just about these group of guys who hate their jobs and just hate the everyday routine of coming in and working at an office. This movie stars Ron Livingston, Jennifer Aniston, and David Herman, just to name a few. And uh, yeah, you know, this is just one of those comedies that for me has just always been funny. It's, you know, it's a little dated nowadays watching it. I just found the $5 Blu-ray in the uh, $5 bin at Walmart and I hadn't, hadn't owned a copy of it myself. I remember we had a DVD copy, like a family copy at some point when I was younger, but uh, I have no idea where it went. And so when I wanted to rewatch this movie, I decided to find it on Blu-ray and uh, thank God I find it for $5, uh, definitely a good get. So just to give you a basic synopsis of the film in case you haven't seen it before, Ron Livingston's character is pretty much just tired of life. He hates every day. He literally says that every day is the new worst day of his life. And just this, the everyday routine of traffic and going to work and being in a cubicle and all those things have just run him dry. He hates his life and he hates everything about it. He has two best friends at his job that, you know, is similar to him, just hate the everyday routine, hate their job, hate uh, the, just the way that everything works, the people that they work with, everything about it just annoying to them. Uh, Ron Livingston's character, Peter, is the one who hates it the most though, and he's the center focus of this film. Not long into the film, Peter is taken by his girlfriend to a hypnotherapist um, to hopefully help him through his uh, negativity, uh, his views on the world, and uh, his view on work life. This hypnotherapist ends up hypnotizing him and making him think that everything in life is good, he has zero worries, and anything that he cared about, he no longer cares about. And before the hypnotherapist can take the hypnosis off of Peter, he ends up dying right there in front of him uh, of a heart attack and in front of everybody else in the room. And uh, yeah, Peter doesn't care at all, doesn't bat an eye, and looks 110% at peace and at comfort. And now it's the next day, Peter's supposed to be at work, he has tons of responsibilities, and Peter just couldn't care less anymore. He doesn't want to go to work anymore, he doesn't want to pay bills, and he's just feeling free, happy, and just wants to do whatever he wants to do. Of course, with a concept like that, it just leads to a bunch of just silly humor, over-the-top humor, and just a very chilled and laid-back comedy. There, there's really not too many comedies like this in today's age, and uh, it's just one of those those comedies that just has always stuck with me. I always find it so funny to watch. I've always loved the characters of this movie. It's nothing crazy. It's not some over-the-top, like, you know, going to be busting out laughing type of comedy, but it is a very charming film of, of its time and a very charming film that there really isn't many like. As far as some negatives that I can give this film right out of the gate, I'd say that, you know, like I said, there's some of the humor that doesn't work or just kind of a little bit dated. Um, there are a few characters that are just kind of there and, you know, you don't really care too much about them, but that tends to happen in comedies, or at least that's how I feel. Uh, you tend to have characters that don't really need some sort of significance in the narrative um, that could just be there for a one-liner or a, a cheap joke that comes up throughout the film. And uh, so this film has a few characters like that, or a few characters whose humor and dialogue just isn't funny anymore, I guess you could say. And maybe it was funny when I was a kid or like a young teen, but like going back and rewatching it now, yeah, there was definitely some humor that uh, could have been cut out of the film. But I really don't have too, too many negatives, I'm completely honest, you know, because this film is nothing crazy, and I would definitely say that 110%. It's, it's nothing wild, it's nothing super funny, but it is a charming and funny film, and I think that uh, having grown up with it, I have a lot of nostalgia for it. So certain moments are definitely a lot funnier than uh, they probably would be to somebody who would watch it for the first time, mainly because I've seen it tons of times, and it's just there's a charm to it for me. But yeah, I really do feel like this movie is funny still. I just showed it to my girlfriend when I rewatched it myself, and she had never seen it before, and she got a good kick out of it. You know, there was definitely some moments that she was like, what the hell is going on? But uh, for the most part, she had a good time with it, and she thought it was a good, charming time. And one thing I've always really loved about this movie is it just plays on something that I think we all can kind of tap into, you know, hate, hating your job, hating the day-to-day -day of, of traffic and getting to work and, and wishing you could just be at home chilling, sitting on your ass and doing nothing. And I think that this movie just uh, taps into that and, and in a very comical and just fun way. It knows its audience and it's not trying to be anything too crazy or too over-the-top funny. It, it's funny in its, its subtleties, in my opinion. So yeah, guys, I don't really have too, too much more to say about this movie. Uh, I really have a, a great time rewatching this 
movie. It was a charming, fun comedy of its time, and I think it still holds up in a lot of ways. A lot of the humor is still really funny. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? All that jazz. I'm definitely curious to hear what everybody felt about this movie. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>